Scott Richards! Oh, thank you! Saturday night, make some noise! A round of applause, where are my locals? Welcome to the LA Comedy Club. Happy Saturday. Put your hands together if you're in love with this outstanding strip view. In the next hour and 22 minutes, you are going to laugh your ass off. Oh, good. <laughs> Some of us will need to laugh more than others. Friends, win for a great show. Give it up for the one, the only, Edwin San Juan. Ron Jossel. Tim Nassio. And the very funny Jason Harris. I was speaking with a comedian before tonight's show, and he was telling me, Scott, the best time to connect with your audience is before the show. He calls it before rapport. So before the show, I was in the restroom, and I was implementing before rapport by handing out paper towels, <laughs> soap, and toilet paper. I was annoyed when I got kicked out of the ladies' restroom. <laughs> I have to say that it's been a very challenging day. I've been gambling. I lost nine straight times playing video poker. My advice, don't bluff. <laughs> I've been in Las Vegas for the past 18 years, and I'm leaving as soon as I get even. <laughs> When I'm not gambling, I'm eating and listening to country music. My friends call me Rascal Fats. <laughs> Last week when I was on stage, a guy in the back yelled, Show me your tits! I had security to remove my dad. <laughs> I've had success in dropping weight. I've lost four pounds in the last three years. It's true what they say, the key to dropping weight and keeping it off is to do it slowly. <laughs> Family and friends, thanks, I appreciate the encouragement. <laughs> My goal is to drop another six in the next decade. <laughs> Family and friends, very important to me. I'm here with my brother John, my wife Robin, my girlfriend Linda. <laughs> I'm joking. My wife's not here. <laughs> Relationships can be tough. My brother John came here three years ago from Milwaukee. He was with the same lady. Go Brewers! Woo! All right. But John came here from Milwaukee three years ago. He was with the same lady for 20 years before she drop kicked his lame ass to the curb. When John came to Vegas, I said, John, beware of the hookers. John asked, well, Scott, how will I know if she's a hooker? John, you'll know she's a hooker if she's talking to you. <laughs> Ladies, don't get me wrong, I'm old school. Even in today's world, I think it's okay for the man to pay for sex. <laughs> pets, I love pets. I have two lizards, a male and a female. Lately, the male lizard has been pursuing the female to no avail. I feel his frustration. He suffers from Erectile dysfunction. <laughs> Friends, what is going on with this economy? I don't know about you, but I'm broke. I need advice. I look to my roommates. Mom? Dad? <laughs> Can you increase my allowance? I am trying. I'm a business owner. It's an LLC. Losing lots of cash. <laughs> I'm big on self-improvement. I heard a motivational speaker say, the more you fail, the more you succeed very successful. <laughs> the same motivational speaker said, it's not what you drive, it's what drives you. I used to drive limo and I would drive everyone to the chicken ranch. It was the only way yeah. I could see my mom. <laughs> I wasn't happy about it myself. Don't get me wrong, she no longer works there. Today you can find her at 
Mary's Villa. <laughs> you locals know what I'm talking about. No one lost power than my mom. But she thinks the Chicken Ranch is a restaurant and Larry's Villa serves pizza. It seems everyone in Las Vegas is from somewhere else. I was born in a third world country in Central America. Iowa. I-O-W-A, I owe the world an apology. Or as my dad says, idiot out wandering around. I love you too, Dad. I am trying to do something about my man boobs. Thank you. You know, it seems as I'm getting older, my eyesight is shot. I had a bad experience with that LASIK eye surgery. The doctor was an Asian lady with big, fat, coat follow glasses. I thought this was odd, and I asked, are you sure this is a good idea? I give you a good deal! <laughs> Today I can't see. But that was some massage. <laughs> are in bed with the hookers. This past week, I was at the corner of Boulder Highway in Sunset Dive Casino. I'm in the parking lot conversing with two hookers. Which casino? Tom, Sunset Casino. Are you the owner? Your gal looks familiar. But as I was conversing with two hookers in the parking lot, I like to call it before rapport with a whore. <laughs> These two hookers walk inside the casino up front marquee sign. Penny slots, 10 cent roulette, and two dollar VJ. <laughs> I went inside and doubled down. The one gal told me her name was Phyllis. I now know that was a nickname for Syphilis. <laughs> you folks are a fun crowd. Are you ready to keep it moving? Hi, I'm Steve, owner and booker from the Oaks Comedy Show here. Tonight we had Louis Anderson with the opener of Scott Pritchard, and it was a great show. Scott did a fantastic job warming up the crowd for Louis, and the crowd loved both of them. It was a fantastic show. Hi, I'm Linda Fox Phillips, and I saw Scott at the L.A. Comedy Club, and let me tell you, he was amazing. He was current, he was funny, he was clean, and it made me laugh uncontrollably. Thanks, Scott. I could bring my kids. I got to see him perform the other night, and he just keeps growing. Uh, so watch out for this guy. He is a rising star in comedy. I love his humor, and he's just being him. And you, you got to like it. I really like his humor. Uh, Scott Pritchard. Check it out. Just got there from watching uh, Scott Pritchard on stage. Very funny guy. Uh, new routine tonight. Uh, he kept us enthralled with the story that uh, he thought, where's it going to go? Where's it going to go? And all of a sudden, pow, hits us with the punchline. We just loved it. Real funny guy. Come out and see him. I enjoyed Scott's performance tonight. Um, I enjoy how he just carries on. He goes from one subject to the other. And he doesn't, meet a, doesn't miss a beat. He, uh, he's funny all the way through. 